Hey folks, welcome back. It's Mike with Grassroots K9, and today, today, we're gonna do a video that's a little bit different. We're gonna do a video that discusses the breed of my newest dog, um, and it is a Yawk Terrier. So you guys hang out, we're gonna discuss some of the info on these dogs, uh, some of the potential uses, uh, temperament, history, uh, and you guys are gonna get to meet Zazu, my Yawk Terrier. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the Yawk Terrier. Uh, they're also known as the Working Terrier, and I got notes because I wanna make sure that my information is as accurate as possible. Um, so they, they originated in Germany um, post-World War I, um, and they were trying to come up with a terrier that was capable of hunting above ground and also underground. They wanted kind of like the all, all around hunting dog. Um, so they're used for small game, so rodents, rats, um, all the way up to nowadays, people use them to hunt uh, boar, uh, they use them to hunt badgers, they use them to hunt kind of a very wide variety of things. Um, if you know anything about terriers, you know that they're kind of a hardy breed. Um, the Yawk Terriers come, the, the ideal uh, coloring uh, patterns for the Yawk Terrier is black and tan, uh, but they're tan, they want a little bit more of a rust color. Uh, kind of color coat wise, similar to another German dog called the Rottweiler that you're probably pretty familiar with. Um, Yacht Terriers are, are pretty cool looking little creatures. Um, they uh, can, the average size for them is about 20 pounds, give or take a couple pounds either way, um, full grown. Um, we're kind of talk a little bit about the temperament now. So I'm, I'm very new to the breed. Um, the first time that I got, I had my hands on one was probably only about three years ago. Um, and surprisingly, that one that I have my hands on, um, I've now acquired a puppy from him. Um, so my puppy's name is Zazu. Uh, and Zazu has been the puppy I've been kind of showing you clips of in this video. So temperament wise, so if we talk about these, these dogs, um, they're very, they're what you think of when you think of a terrier, right? Uh, very hardy, um, very, um, driven dogs um, and they generally don't make very good pets so the reason that we uh, or I've got Zazu here um, is for kind of small game control and rodent control and um, we have some chickens uh, we <laughs> have some other farm animals a goat um, and sometimes their feed um, and, and their bedding and stuff can draw in kind of rodents trying to take uh, refuge um, and kind of act as a little bit of it uh, illegal immigration uh, on our farm. So we got Zazu here to do that. Uh, in the meantime, while we have Zazu, uh, we're also gonna be working with him, uh, just doing some obedience things. He's definitely very, uh, you can see with these terriers, they're very interested in other things with fur. Um, so he's, any small thing that's moving around and has fur, we have rabbits around the farm as well. Um, he's very interested in going after. So uh, temperament wise, from the, the limited experience that I have with these, uh, this breed specifically, they don't seem that they would make a very good pet dog uh, to just live in your apartment with you, um, with your cats maybe, or your other dogs. Um, he, he is, so far again, Zazu is only about 11 weeks old, um, and he's, he gets along fairly well with our, uh, our Malinois Ruby, uh, but he definitely has no rules to play. Um, he is obnoxious with her. She just has a really good temperament and uh, is accepting of his play style. So we'll wrap up um, kind of our, our little brief video about these Yawk Terriers. Um, if you are, guys are interested in, you know, seeing some more footage of Yawk Terriers, let me know in the, in the comments below. Um, and we'll definitely be posting video footage of Zazu regardless while he's uh, growing up here under our care. And I uh, hope you guys appreciate the video, enjoy, and I provide you with some information about this breed.